Hi, my name is Chloe. I came to see Joad and receive a treatment for my upper back. I've been having pain for the, the past couple days um, in between my scapula and my spine shooting down and across the back of my shoulder. And we're going to do a drug treatment. Uh, for this, we're going to use a sujak map the body in the hand. Here you can see the back of the body uh, projected on the back of the hand. It's going to be easy to find the tender points and then to apply some seeds on them. So here we go. We're going to use uh, your left hand which will allow us to reach easily uh, the part of your right spine projected on the hand. And as I'm rolling down this little stick, please let me know where you find a painful dot, tender part. There. Here? Yeah. Good. As I find it precisely. Oh, yeah. And here? Uh, here? Yeah. Great. We have a good response. I prepared a little seed earlier. And we, I'm going to apply it on the hand. Let's see how that does. Mm. Verification that it is really a tender, a tender point, a healing point. How is it? Tender. Tender? Good. Okay. And now that we did that, I'm going to ask you to check again your uh, back and see if there's a difference. What do you mean by energy, like heat, um, tingling? Emotion, like... <laughs> okay, and how does that affect the pain? It pushes it out. Okay, so do you mean that the pain increased or decreased? Decreased. Okay, decreased. From 100% you felt earlier, how much is left approximately now? Probably 40. Oh, good. Yeah. That's nice. Let's yeah. put another seed. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, fantastic. So now I'm going to use another seed. This one is a zuki. The other one was a green small bean. And I'm going to use a different map. I'm going to use the finger map that we use quite often in Sujog. It's very easy, very convenient. As you can see, the back part of the finger on the right shows the back of the body and we can find very easily the tender point and put a seed on it. Specifically, each finger is more efficient for certain ailments. So for example, the left pinky, the left fifth finger, the small finger, will be most effective to treat muscles, ten tendons, ligaments and articulations. And because it is apparently muscular, what Chloe has, we're going to use this finger to treat it. And let's see if we find the tender point. Mm, yeah. Good. I start voluntarily not where it's supposed to hurt, but before, and gradually I make my way to the targeted area which we're supposed to find the point, so she can clearly feel mm. the difference between a normal point and the healing point, which is tender. I'm applying the seed, and let's see what kind of result we achieve with this. Ah. I'm giving a slight pressure, just to be sure I'm on the right point, before I secure the seed on the finger. Let's see. How it looks like. Perfect. And let's assess again how you feel. You were about still with 40% of pain earlier. How much do you still have now? More? Less? Less. Oh, less. less Good. Absolutely. Yeah, how much is left approximately? Like 25, 25% of 
75 percent and it feels more acute and more centralized hmm. so it's not so big anymore it got smaller good good so i prepared a few more seeds i'm going to look for another finger now that we treated the muscular part let's go to the nerve so maybe maybe there's a pinched nerve or a little inflammation and the fourth finger of the left hand, the ring finger, will give us a good response. Ah, whoa! Yes. <laughs> so we found the right spot. Ah, yeah. When you find a really powerful yeah, yeah, yeah. healing point, there's a strong reaction to let you know. This is the only time we inflict pain. It's just to diagnose which part is good for healing. Tender? Mm -hmm. Good. We're fixing again, same spot on the finger, actually it's a little lower than the previous one, which indicates us that where the muscle is cramped and there's a nervous strain, should be lower next to the spine. Ooh. Wonderful. Can you show your finger again? Great. Perfect. And let's see how that feels. How's your pain? You were around 25? It's getting smaller, it's still there, but becoming again more centralized. So the area affected is smaller. Mm. Yeah. And in terms of the intensity of the pain, how much is left approximately? Like 15%. Like 15%. So when we went where the muscular pain is, the area that responded is almost in the neck, around here. And when we checked which nerve, nerve, nerve is responding, what we got is, around, is lower, around the third or the fourth thoracic vertebra. So the neck pain was more muscular, and the pain inducing it apparently from the nerves was lower, around the scapula, third and fourth thoracic vertebra area. And we still have 15%. Let's look at inflammation and vascularity. That's going to be the index finger of the left hand. Because there is inflammation, now I pick a black lentil, a black or brown dark seed. It's going to cool things down and nourish the body, release pain, and uh, help the body to feel better. So I put it on a plaster, and then I'm going to find the point in the finger and apply the seed on it. Left finger, left index finger, and let's look for inflammation. Yeah. Yeah, whoa there! Oh, actually there's a larger area which is responding, so I'm gonna use to treat a larger area, I'm gonna add another couple of, couple of seeds because we need to treat more than one point. So now I'm going to do a band of seeds. I can already feel it affecting my back. Yes, very often just when you diagnose, just doing the diagnostic will already relieve. Because the relief is felt as soon as you activate, even by pressure, the healing points. Sudok is a form of acupuncture, so we usually use needles, but very often, especially when we want people to be able to do it at home, or for people that are, cannot get needles, or if you're not a licensed acupuncturist, you can just apply seeds and that works wonders, even sometimes better than the needles for many people, which are sensitive. So now I have a line of three lentils, I'm going to put it on the finger and see what is the result to reduce inflammation. Secure the seeds with plaster. I already feel a warmth of healing energy going like this. Shoo! Ooh. Yeah, you can press the seeds to see that you're on the right spot, that it didn't move oh. or didn't sleep. Oh. Yeah. 
And let's see how's your back feeling. More free. Oh, and that the pain that was shooting out from between my spine and my scapula is gone. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Joanne. You're very welcome.